Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Right now, the AFCON is in full swing, so today we're going to be looking at and ranking the football kits from it. Yep, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a, a, one of these tier list videos. I did a lot of them uh, at the start of the season. And with this big tournament, Afghan, uh, in full swing at the moment, I thought it was only right that I took a look at the kits and ranked them. So that, that's what I'm going to be doing. Before I get into that, though, please make sure that you check out the website. Uh, the link will be in the description below. So all the kits that you see behind me here, that one there, and just thousands more are on that website. So make sure you check that out. Link is in the description. And finally, please like and subscribe. We are so close to 1,000. We might even be there by the time this video is out. But if we are not, please make sure you subscribe. It'd mean the absolute world to me. Hitting 1,000 is absolutely crazy. So yeah, buzzing. Right, let's get into the video. So it's a tier list and the tiers are top tier, which is obviously the best, good stuff, middle of the road, basic, and no thank you. Um, those are the tiers um, that I'm going to be judging them on. And let's start at the start. We'll start with Algeria. Now, this sit kit is um, it's simple. It's simple. It's white. It's got green accents. It's Adidas. It's using that uh, Condivo template that we saw a lot in the Euros. It's good. It's clean. Uh, but it's nothing more than that. Uh, so I think I'm going to give it uh, I'm going to give it good stuff. It's good stuff. On to Burkina Faso now, and uh, they've they're actually used by local brand Tovia, which is quite cool. Uh, and they've got a subtle like all over stallion pattern over the full length of the shirt, which is quite cool. That's inspired by their nickname, of course. And then there's a, a yellow and red stripe with a star in the middle going down the front of the shirt, which is obviously inspired by the flag. Uh, it's cool. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I don't like the way this shirt looks, but I can understand and appreciate the fact that it's uh, it's unique. Uh, so for me, it's, it's I'm gonna put it in basic. Uh, it's quite not it's not a basic shirt, but it that's where it falls for me. On to the host of the tournament. Now we're going for Cameroon. Now look, I love this shirt. This one's cool. It's made by Le Coq Sportif. Um, the flag colours are coming over the cross of one of the left shoulder. Uh, there's a lion claw mark pattern. So like all over the shirt, there's like claw marks. And that could look tacky, but it's done well here. Uh, and of course, it's it, there's a lion on the front as there always is with a Cameroon thing. Shirt. So like, it's just overall a great Cameroon shirt. I think it's one of their best actually. It's quite clean, it's good, and it's well executed. And it's fit for the host. So for me, I'm going top tier. Cape Verde now, and it's actually quite refreshing to see on this list a, a blue shirt. There's a, there's a lot of red, there's a lot of yellow, and there's a lot of green, of course. But it could be in the Africa Cup of Nations. Cape Verde stand out being blue. This is dark and light blue uh, navy stripes, and there's a big shark uh, graphic at the bottom of the thing ripped straight from the badge. Um it's nice. It's 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 not too special. I think it's uh it's middle of the road, I believe. I think it does stand out amongst the rest, but uh, it's nothing too special. So on to Camaros and they have a great, great story here. They oh I can hear myself. No Right, on to Comoros now, and they have a great, great story. They're a very small island nation just off the east coast of Africa, and this is their first time participating in the Africa Cup of Nations. That's brilliant. you got to love that kind of stuff. Uh, and then when you look at this shirt on first sight, <laughs> it doesn't look great. Um, I don't really like it. But then there's, there's smaller details that bump it up a little bit. Uh, if you, it's completely inspired by the flag of the country, so the green is directly inspired by that. Um, the base coat is directly inspired from one aspect of the flag. You can see the stripes being used in the sleeve cuffs, a bit like this shirt actually, but with the stripe colours. And then uh, there's the flag with the crescent star and moons. Uh, wait, what? Crescent star and moons? Crescent moon and stars as well. That's on the front of the shirt. So. But like I said, it's completely inspired by the flag, um, which is cool. And a lot of shirts on this list have done that. And there's, there's also, sorry, I've just saw as well, there's um, a traditional clothing type of pattern design going down the side as well. That That is really, really nice. So there's small details that would make this kit kind of nice. But it, I think the execution of it all happening together just doesn't really work for me. And also the colour's a bit jarring. and I don't like the way it's quite a bit like a V-neck. Um, for me... It would have been a no thank you, but these small details would just bumped it up to basic. Moving on to Egypt now, and uh, this kit, of course, is traditional red with black elements, uh, and then it has a unique graphic on the front going across the shirt, which is inspired by ancient hieroglyphics, which is just great, isn't it? That's what you want to see from an Egypt kit. It's kind of mad, coin, coin of mad. Um, it's kind of mad that 
it's been this long and we've not seen this in an Egypt kit and that's great but we all know we've all seen those Egypt concept kits and to be honest I saw them I didn't even realise they weren't the kits that's how good they were um, those concept kits they'll be on the screen right now they are phenomenal and they use hydroglyph hydroglyphics hieroglyphics um, I can't speak at the minute uh, on the front of their shirt as well but they've used them very much more um, down the sides it's there's more design to it and they've also got like a river nile pattern down the sides it's just such great egypt shirt whoever designed that concept kit needs a job now nike hire him <laughs> or her but um yeah it's just <laughs> when you see some a concept kit that's better than the actual kit you kind of think to yourself like what's the point like how is that better and um i think they've definitely leaned into the idea that was used uh, in this concept kit, but they just haven't full sent it. And for me, it's a shame. Um, it really is a shame. And I don't, I'm letting that affect my judgment here because this kit's nice and without that concept kit, this might have been top tier. Um, but knowing that exists out there, know that that's there and it's not even as good as that, for me, it's got to go down one and it's got to go into good stuff. Equatorial Guinea now, and this shirt is a simple red kit with white cuffs, very nice, right? But then there's a graphic on the front. Now, I don't really know if it's inspired by anything. I presume it is, but I couldn't see anything online. Uh, it's just this dark, quite harsh pattern on the front. And for me, it's just a bit jarring. So I'm going to put that in no thank you. Ethiopia and Umbro absolutely smashed it this year. Umbro have had a great 2021-22 season. I'll tell you that now. Um, for this one, they've gone very ge geometric, which is just brilliant. All over patterns on all three of the kits, all inspired by the colours of the flag. Uh, and they've got each of them have got different um, geometric patterns. This one's got triangle patterns on the front. Each are inspired by its own different thing as well. Uh, it's just oh, it's just beautiful. I really really like it. Um, also, the sleeve cuffs uh, are the flag colours as well, which is brilliant uh, for me. It's top tier. I'm going for top tier with this one. Moving on to Gabon now, and uh, this shirt is a traditional yellow uh, with a panther on the front because that's their nickname, the Panthers. Um, it's great, it's good, but it's basic. That's This is what basic was made for, so I'm going to put it there. Now, Gambia, I've not got the best photo here. I'll put a better one in the edit now. Uh, but for me, I'm not really a fan of this. It's very basic, but almost to a point where it's so uninspiring and so like, meh. So I'm going to put this in, no thank you. Right, Ghana now, and this shirt's wicked. I love it. Um, it's, the shirt features this pattern, this very traditional Ghana pattern, and it's supposed to, you know, represent Ghana's, you know, textile and their history and their culture. And it all represents all of that. And a lot of the kits in this tournament have done that. You know, with Africa's rich history and culture, it's important that you do that. Um, but this one is one of the best. The design itself could have been very in your face, but they've dropped the tone. So it's like, it is black, but it's kind of almost gray and they've just made it blend into the kit nice. And I really do like that. Also the uh, the black star from the, the flag is on just dead center in the kit, really showing who they are as a football club. I like this kit a lot. I'm going top tier. Guinea Bissau now, and the most notable aspect of this kit is of course, the kind of like vertical sections of the Pano de Pinte uh, pattern, which is inspired by, again, the country uh, and its roots and its history, which is great. And again, it's a good concept and I love that concept, but this is one of the poor executions in this tournament. You know, the way it's kind of like, just really shakily through it, uh, ripped the shirt and underneath it is kind of this pattern. Oh, I just don't like it. It just looks a bit of a mess. There's nothing nothing to it. It's a bit of a mess. I'm going to put this one in. No, thank you. On to Guinea now. And this kit, I'm confused by this kit, so you might have to help me out in the comments here if you know the answer to this. But uh, on Kit Archive, on Footy Headlines, on all the websites, I couldn't find the kit that they were wearing the other day. So they, they played a game the other day. I looked it up. They were wearing this really nice kit, and then I couldn't see a graphic or anyone selling that kit. I don't know what's happened there. I couldn't find a story on it. Maybe I'm just shit at researching. <laughs> Let me know, please. If you know the answer, get in the comments. But I'm gonna look at the photo of the game they played the other day uh, and took a look at that kit. And this kit, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Um, it's got this cool pattern going down the side. It's quite simple. It's it's nothing too special, uh, but it is nice. It's going to go middle of the road, but please do let me know. Ivory Coast now, and this shirt, is, I like this shirt a lot. It celebrates the nickname, the elephant. So the uh, pattern that you see is inspired by like the texture of elephant tusks, which is really cool. So it's like, it's not this in your face nod to an elephant. It's not a just big fuck off elephant right on the front of the shirt. Like there's a subtle element to that. And it's really cool. I like it. It's made a texture 
out of that. Um, so for me, it's a big winner. Uh, I'm going to go put it in top tier. I was going to put it in good stuff, but I've convinced myself that it's even better than that. <laughs> Next up, Malawi now. And uh, this shirt is very good. It's very simple. Uh, red base, green cuffs, and a traditional Malawi textile pattern on the front. Very good. It's it's incorporating everything I've liked about this this tournament so far. The history and niceness, and <laughs> niceness, uh, and it really works. And obviously, it complements the colours of the flag. Nice. Um, it just all round works. It's one of those that takes all the elements of a good kit and put it together. Nice and simple. Um, so for me, this is in good stuff. It's not quite amazing, but it's good. Mali now and uh, Mali shirts are great because there is just a massive eagle on the front and it's just it's brilliant um for me it's not my favorite thing in the world to have like this massive graphic on the front it's a bit it can come off a bit tacky uh, this one is that still but I know it's like what they do and that's what they have and so it feels harsh me critiquing them on that but I don't know it's just not my cup of tea uh, you know what I'll go middle of the road because I know it's kind of cool uh, but it's not the best for me. Looking at Moratina's shirt now, and this shirt stood out to me like right away. Uh, and at first, it's a little bit jarring. And then you look into it, and I looked into it, and uh, it's a tree bark pattern on the front of the shirt, um, which is kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. If I ha There is obviously, that's got to be out there, but I've not seen it very often, so it's a quite unique idea. Uh, and it's done in a, in a good way. I think it could have been done quite tacky, you know, when you used to put like a piece of paper and crayon over the uh, a tree you it could have looked like that but it hasn't they've gone really graphic they've kind of got black outlines and stuff like that so i'm actually a bit of a fan of this it's not it's not up up there but it's i'm going to put it in good stuff morocco another simple kit here uh red little bits of green and a little bit of pattern on it it's simple it's great it's nothing special but for me uh I've got to put it because stuff for, for, for my own principles. <laughs> Moving on to Nigeria now, of course, one of the best looking teams out there. They always, they're, they're known for having incredible kits. I said best looking teams, like, <laughs> I should, probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Nigeria are obviously known for their incredible kits and this is no different. They come off the back of that 2018 World Cup with the best kit of the tournament, the best kit ever. Almost, not ever. But, you know, it was really good. And also, uh, they they do well to create a culture around the kit and like all the kind of different, you know, jackets, uh, training gear, all that stuff that comes out of it. And this is no no um, no different. This shirt is really cool. Uh, it's definitely dipped into Nigerian heritage a bit more. So this one is actually inspired by uh, Agbadaro, and I hope I've said that right. Um, so, like, the kind of aesthetic of that has been put into this kit. So, you, as you can see, a very geometric pattern going down the, uh, the sides of the shirt. Um, I love it a lot. I love this shirt. I love all the kind of training gear that's come off the back of it. I also love the retro look with the centralised logo of the, you know, the Nike and the crest. Um, it's just, it's of course, it's top tier. If Nigeria make a kit and it's not t top tier, something's wrong. Senegal now. And this kit it was also one of my favourites in this tournament. Um... I like a lot of the kits on this list. Um, it is, you know, a, a kit that's using a traditional pattern from the country, you know, using that to full effect, using the country's flag colours. They're using a lot of the elements that um, you've seen a lot already in this video. But for me, the way they've structured it and the way they've kind of brought it together is one of the best because instead of just having an all-over pattern, they've chose small squares of pattern, put that in a grid structure, give them all different colours, and then they've also dropped it all the way back so it's not in your face, it's not jarring, a bit like the Ghana kit. Um, yeah, that's it. it's just a huge win for me. Like It really works. Like From afar, it looks like a nice white kit, and then the closer you get, it reveals just the beauty and elegance of the kit. So for me, also a top-tier kit, and we've got a fair few of them now. Similar to the Ethiopia kit, the Sierra Leone kit is also made by Umbro, and they've also used bold geometric shapes. Now, they're through green, blues, whites, seem to resemble the flag. That's great, but for me, it's just... <laughs> I don't know, the Ethiopia kit is very clean, it's much cleaner than this. This is a, a very much like a, a throw patterns onto it, see what happens. And normally that works, and, and to be honest, I, I've loved what Umbro have been doing so far. But for me, this just doesn't this doesn't land as much as some of the other ones. It looks a bit of a mess. Um, so for me, I'm going for no thanks. So Dan, again, this is what basic is made for, basic kit basic cuffs, basic colours, everything. It's not offensive, but it's not going to push the boat out there. So yeah, basic. But I'm happy with that. Moving on to Tunisia now. And this is, I love this kit. This is really cool. They've really leaned into the Arabic culture and their Arabic roots here. And it's really good to see, you know, Africa is such a huge, huge continent with full of different cultures and history and heritage 
all over. So it's good to see that represented in this tournament. Uh, they've used Arabic calligraphy on the front to create the pattern, uh, which is really cool. Like using calligraphy to make a pattern. It's a, it's a designer's dream, really. I really do like it. It's two turn as well, so it's like red on red. Um, it's it's simple and very very graceful. I like it a lot. Um, and that and now I'm stuck between top tier and good stuff because again I've convinced myself that this is best. So I'm put, also putting it in the top tier. Now finally we are on Zimbabwe. Now Umbro again have done this one and instead of a geometric pattern they've gone for like a very splashed pattern. So they've took the Zimbabwe flag and they've it's kind of like they've got the colours of the Zimbabwe flag and just gone flab flag and just gone you know what I mean? Like just splash it over the shoulder shirt, see what lands, see what drips down. Um but they've done it in a kind of they've done that and then they've made it more blocky. Uh, my analogy doesn't make sense, but that's what I see here. Um, it, it's cool. It's for me. I'm not the biggest fan of brushstroke kind of graphic patterns. Normally, for me, it's geometric. I like the simplicity of all that kind of stuff. Um, so for me, this always stands out. But to be honest, this isn't that bad. This is a bit blocky. Um, this is also kind of like stand out, and it very you know because of the colours of the flag are there in that kind of that way it's good so for me i'm going to pull it middle of the road and there's a nice little spot for it there and that's it that is my tier list for the afcon uh, 2022 or 21 or 2020 i think it's 21 um but no let me know what you think in the comments below um this tier list will also be in the description if you want to have a go yourself send it our way i'd love to see it um but let me know what you think i've got right or wrong we'll have a conversation in the comments below because that's what i love here about this channel right that's it from me again check the website out please do that thousands of football shirts on the website that you can get yourself and also please subscribe it would mean the world to me this year it's going to be big for this channel i've got some big plans i'm really looking forward to it so um yeah have a great day everyone see you in the next one